Imagine a hot summer day. The sun is blazing, the pavement is shimmering, and suddenly, you're holding a cup of ice cream. Cold, creamy, aromatic. A true lifesaver. But have you ever wondered how this perfect sweetness makes its way into your hands? What lies behind this seemingly simple dessert? Today, we're taking you somewhere few dessert lovers have gone, into a full-scale industrial ice cream factory. Behind giant gates and metal walls lies a true flavor laboratory, where technology and tradition come together to create what we all love so much. Production begins long before the first camera flash or the churn of a freezer. It all starts at the farm. Carefully selected milk is delivered to the factory in refrigerated tank trucks, equipped with cleanliness and temperature sensors. Before a single drop enters the process, the milk undergoes rigorous lab tests. Fat content, acidity, temperature, microbiology. If anything is off, the entire batch is rejected. Quality always comes first. The milk is then pumped into massive stainless steel tanks where it awaits the next step. This is known as the raw material block, the heart of the factory, where all ingredients for future ice cream are assembled. To the milk, cream is added, along with sugar, stabilizers, and sometimes dry dairy ingredients. Each component is added strictly according to the recipe. Modern dosing systems measure liquids down to a fraction of a percent. Mistakes are not tolerated. Taste, texture, and shelf life all depend on this precision. The resulting mixture is sent into large industrial mixers, where the first key transformation begins, the creation of the ice cream base. It is at this stage that the future characteristics of the ice cream are formed. How creamy, sweet, dense, or airy it will be. Next comes the moment where technology takes control, pasteurization. The mixture is heated to around 85 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and held for 15 to 20 seconds. This short but critical process destroys any potential pathogens while preserving the taste and nutrients. After heating, the mixture is immediately cooled to around 4 degrees Celsius. 39 degrees Fahrenheit. This sharp temperature drop is essential to halt bacterial growth and keep the base fresh and safe for the next stage. Now the mix is given time to rest. Yes, literally. In refrigerated aging tanks, it sits for four to 12 hours. This stage is called aging. But what exactly happens during this time? First, the stabilizers and emulsifiers become fully activated and evenly distributed. Second, the fat begins to crystallize, creating a smooth, even structure. Most importantly, the mix thickens, gains body, and becomes fully prepared for the magic of freezing. It's the moment when liquid preparation turns into a true dessert in the making. While the base is aging, Food technologists work their magic on flavor. From classic vanilla to exotic mango chili blends, every drop of flavoring is measured with surgical precision. Natural extracts, fruit purees, chocolate, or nut pastes. All of it is carefully tested and perfectly aligned with the recipe. In modern factories, automated dosing systems are used. These machines introduce flavoring at the exact moment when the mix's temperature and viscosity are optimal for even distribution. Once flavoring is added, the mixture is sent to the homogenizer, a machine that literally breaks down large fat molecules. Under pressures of up to 200 atmospheres, nearly 3,000 psi, the mixture is pushed through microscopic valves, turning it into a silky, smooth emulsion. Thanks to homogenization, the ice cream won't separate during storage and will feel like soft cream on your tongue. At last, everything is ready for the most exciting stage, turning liquid into ice cream. The base enters industrial freezers, where it starts to freeze while being continuously churned. This is where true craftsmanship comes in. The process must be quick, but not too aggressive. Freeze too slowly 
and large ice crystals form. Freeze too fast, and air and inclusions won't properly integrate. This is also when aeration happens. Air is whipped into the mix to create that soft, voluminous texture. This air incorporation is called overrun, the percentage of air in the final product. Premium ice cream may have 20 to 30% overrun, while soft serve can go up to 100%. As the mix starts to freeze, it's time to introduce the extras. Caramel ribbons, strawberry jams, cookie pieces, or chopped nuts. All are added through special dosing systems. Machines swirl the fillings to create beautiful marble patterns and distribute everything evenly. It's critical that no cup or cone ends up empty, so each batch passes through an automated visual inspection system. Cameras track the quantity and placement of mix-ins in real time, alerting operators if anything looks off. Now that the mixture has turned into soft ice cream with swirls of jam, chunks of nuts, and pieces of cookies, it's time for the most critical stage, shock freezing. This is the moment when the product gains its final, stable form. The semi-frozen ice cream flows through pipes into automatic molding machines. Depending on the recipe, it is dispensed into cups, cones, stick molds, or bulk containers. And here comes the most powerful freezing element, the tunnel freezer. Inside, temperatures drop to around minus 40 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In this freezing tunnel, the ice cream spends anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes, depending on portion size. During this time, it fully solidifies, and the ice crystals shrink to microscopic size, nearly invisible. These tiny crystals are what give ice cream its silky, melt-in-your-mouth texture. One mistake here, and you end up with icy slush, not dessert. But that's not the end. If the ice cream is supposed to be coated in chocolate, like a classic ice cream bar or sandwich, it moves on to the next stage. Here, the ice cream is dipped into baths of melted chocolate. The coating temperature is about 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything happens in a flash. The ice cream is immersed for just a moment, then instantly hit with a stream of cold air. The result is a thin, crisp shell that coats every piece with perfect uniformity. At the same time, additional decorations may be added. Crushed nuts, wafer crumbs, shredded coconut. Visually, it's a celebration. Technically, it's a carefully synchronized process. Now the ice cream is a finished product, frozen, firm, perfectly coated, but it still needs to be packaged. And not just boxed up, but done in a way that meets strict standards for hygiene, storage, and logistics. Each packaging line is calibrated for a specific format, cups, boxes, stick packs. The ice cream travels down conveyor belts, where it is automatically placed into individual wrappers or containers. High-speed machines work at a pace of up to 200 packs per minute. Cameras and sensors monitor every detail. Wrapper alignment, barcode presence, seal integrity. Even a microscopic defect can halt the line. Meanwhile, design elements are printed. Logos, flavor names, expiration dates. Modern packaging systems use digital printers to apply customized data on every single unit in real time. Before ice cream heads to the warehouse, every batch undergoes multi-level quality control. In on-site labs, random samples are taken and tested for density, temperature, structure, inclusion distribution, and taste profile. Stress tests are also performed, for example, exposing the product to fluctuating temperatures to simulate transport or short-term defrosting. Technicians even test the sound of the chocolate shell cracking, because the crunch is part of the sensory experience too. After packaging, the finished product is transferred to an automated frozen storage facility. Temperatures here remain between minus 25 and minus 30 degrees Celsius minus 13 to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. 
These are massive warehouse-sized freezers with multi-level shelving that hold thousands of boxes of ice cream. Loading and unloading is handled by robotic cranes and lifts. They follow the FIFO principle, first in, first out, to ensure older batches are shipped out before newer ones. Each box is digitally logged, barcode, production date, batch number, shelf life. Even six months later, the factory can trace exactly when and where each container was made. Now the ice cream is ready for its journey. It's loaded into refrigerated trucks, specially designed to maintain a consistent low temperature throughout transport. Each vehicle is equipped with GPS and temperature loggers to ensure the cold chain remains unbroken. Most deliveries reach retail stores within 24 to 48 hours. Large factories partner with logistics providers to ensure smooth distribution across regions and countries. Modern factories don't just produce ice cream, they do it responsibly. Solar panels on rooftops, closed loop water systems, and recyclable packaging are all part of the shift towards sustainable production. Many manufacturers are switching to biodegradable or compostable materials. There's also a growing focus on vegan and low calorie product lines, making ice cream not just delicious, but more ethical and inclusive. Next time you open a tub of ice cream, take a moment to realize you're not just enjoying a treat. You're holding the result of the combined effort of dozens of professionals, hundreds of machines, and countless quality checks. The taste, the texture, the packaging, every detail is meticulously crafted. Ice cream isn't just a pleasure, it's science, engineering, and just a little bit of magic.